All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're working through this example problem about dropping resistors. This is a common question that you might see. Um, and it's basically saying that we have a load that has an internal resistance of 6.4 ohms. It's going to be powered by a 9 volt battery. And this load requires 0.35 amps to operate. Um, and there's going to be a resistor that accompanies it in series in the circuit. Uh, that will help us to achieve that specific current. So really what this is going to end up looking like will be something like this. So we have a voltage source of 9 volts, our load is the circle in the L, and the resistor is up on the top there. Now voltage sources like this will put out any amount of current based on what's in the circuit. They will maintain their voltage of let's say in this case 9 volts, but depending on the resistances that it sees in the circuit, it'll put out a different amount of current. Now we have some information about the load. So its resistance is 6.4 ohms. Its uh, voltage, we don't know. It wasn't given in the problem and it has to have a current of 0.35 amps. For whatever reason, that's what this thing needs. Now, because this is a series circuit, the current that's going through our load is going to be 0.35 amps. So that means it's going to come around this corner this way. It's going to come around or whichever way the polarity is organized. I don't actually have it drawn here. It's just basically going to be going around like this, where everywhere in the circuit, it's going to have to experience a current of I equals 0.35 amps. So for our resistor here, we have resistance we have the voltage drop, and we also have the current, okay? Now we know that the current is going to be the same everywhere in the circuit, so the current has to be 0.35 amps. And at the moment, we don't know what the voltage drop is going to be, and we don't know what its resistance is going to be. The goal of the question is to find out what is the resistance of the dropping resistor. And we have to make sure that we select the correct uh, amount of resistance in this resistor so that we get 0.35 amps. We're kind of working backwards in this case, but that would be the goal if we were to construct this cir um, circuit in real life. So when we look over at the load here, we have two knowns and one unknown, and over here we have two unknowns. So obviously we're going to be working here first. It will be easier to solve the one unknown with one equation, and we're going to be using Ohm's law to do that. So we can just do that up here. V is equal to IR, that's Ohm's law. Uh, which is in our case going to be equal to 0 0.35 amps times the resistance of 6.4 ohms. And uh, we're going to see that that is equal to 2.24 volts. So we can fill this in, 2.24 volts. All right, now we have only unknowns uh, remaining at the dropping resistor. Uh, we can't solve for two unknowns using Ohm's law because that's too many unknowns, but what we can do is we can use KVL, which states that our supply voltage is going to equal the uh, all the sum of the voltage drops, or the, as we go around the circuit, all the voltage drops will add up to zero. Um, so we have a supply voltage of 9 volts, and then on the other side we have the voltage of the resistor plus the voltage of the load. So we have 9 volts. We're looking for the voltage of the resistor uh, plus the voltage of the load, which was 2.24 volts. So the volt drop of the resistor is 9 minus 2.24, which is 6.76 volts. So we can put this here, 6.76 volts. And now we have only one unknown remaining. Let's change color so we can see it in here. And we're just going to do Ohm's law again, V equals I. R, we're going to reorganize that for resistance is equal to voltage over current. Um, and in our case, that is the voltage drop, which is 6.76 volts divided by the current, which is 0 0.35 amps. And we're going to find our resistance here is 19.3 ohms. So that is the answer that we're looking for. And we can drop it in here, 19.3 ohms. Now if you're satisfied with that you can stop there but if you're not sure that you got the right answer then we can uh, just clear some space here and quickly check using a different formula. There's usually more than one way to kind of check out things in circuits so uh, let's double check first our 
total resistance, that's going to equal the sum of all the resistances. So it'll be equal to 19.3 ohms plus 6.4 ohms. So the total resistance of the circuit is 25.7 ohms. And then we can check uh, Ohm's law one last time using this for the overall circuit. So V equals I R, or in this case, E uh, for the, the source of voltage. Sometimes rather than saying V total, we just say E. So this is going to be equal to the current times the resistance. So we have 0 0.35 amps times the total resistance, which is 25.7 ohms. And we're going to see that that is equal to nine volts. So that tells us that we have actually done this right by plugging in our calculated values into different formulas, we can be pretty sure. But the answer to the original question, which was what size of a resistor do we need to put into this circuit so that our load receives 0 0.35 amps from the voltage source, uh, well that means we have to put in a 19.3 ohm resistor.